Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher. One more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann, Messiah the Christ, Messiah the Messiah, Messiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God a higher, and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Messiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings, greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is a name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites, the beautiful Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth in the diaspora. I greet you all in the precious, glorious name for a soon coming King, Yashahel, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the precious, glorious name of our soon coming King, Lord and Savior, Yesiah the Christ. All right. You can skip this bit and find the main message. No problem. I won't be long, but you can skip it. I'm going to do a little bit of housekeeping. Remember my name, is Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border. Anybody else pretending to be me is a dirty devil. You need to rebuke and re re rebuke and report them. Remember also, solid gray border, but it's got a tick. A little ticky by the side of me name all right please watch your video till the end there is a sinner's prayer there for you remember the various social platforms that i'm on i am not safe on here this channel is heavily censored it is heavily shadow banned by the powers of that be brothers and sisters please understand that when i upload a video on my end my video is absolutely fine when it starts to give trouble buffeting going blank you cannot hear no sound all sort of foolishness that's happening that don't happen on anybody else's channel apparently it's only mine apparently that's what some brothers and sisters say so so carry on we we'll watch other people's channel absolutely fine you're the only person that will have a problem with the videos then you will have a problem because we spit we spit truth on this channel and we open up the eyes of those who are lost Hallelujah. So obviously Satan, mm -hmm, he's not gonna want is um he's not gonna want people to wake up. He's gonna keep them in darkness. And he knows me. The devil knows me, brothers and sisters. He knows exactly who I am. And um yeah, so it's not me, it's them that's on this that run this platform. Alright, um, where was I? Yes, so we do something called the top 20. Any beautiful beloved in the most high, any beautiful beloved in the most high. Um, I give you a little shout out. I do a little top 20 and I give you a little shout out. So these are the top 20 beautiful beloved. Underneath the powerful video that I did concerning Nibiru or Nibiru. That this thing is coming. Alright, this thing is coming. This planet in this coming is going to be a shocker to a lot of people. Maybe, you know, depending where you are in the world, you're just going to wake up one morning. Uh big massive red horrible thing in the sky you know looking like the sun but it's not the sun and um and then you know you can be at work and coming out and look up in the sky so also but it's going to happen it really is all right so these are the top 20 beautiful beloved underneath that very powerful video concerning nebrae all right shana black man bbe for him adie Terry, Tom's Terry Ann Thompson, Astro, Beats, Colleen, Hella, France, Celeste, Pauline, Anderson, All Things Made New, Yaz, Daughter, Tashanda, Taylor, Julie, Mayberry, Jereen Smith, Paulette Allen, Anna, Sanders, Soloretta, Pearson, Barnes, Valerie, Jarrett, Gage in his glory, Sally Grace, Zendi Zenida, Blanchard, Exhibit, Obedience, Anika Satalu, Nicole, Wright, Joselle, Upa, Mahula, Buder, Bother, Menasi, Tribe, Asana, Brownie, Cain, Siwa, Shana, Fisher, and Voice Crying 
in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Top 20, beautiful beloved. In the most that higher concerning the Nibiru. We are near. No, we're not. Yeah, we are near. But before, yes. So continue to like, share, subscribe, click the bell button to the channel, leave a comment and all of this and all of that. I appreciate it. And thank for those beautiful beloved showing me appreciation. I appreciate all of you. I do, but you know, yeah, I do appreciate as well those beautiful beloved who have blessed me through PayPal. I really appreciate it, honest to the most uh, higher from the bottom of my heart. So, thank you very, very much. All right, we are near prophetic theme banner, it's called We Are Near. We're not only near to the revealing, oh, uh, we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, but also to the revealing of the dirty antichrist and the lawlessness of sin. Please read Daniel 7. Verse 25. All right, brothers and sisters. Um, it talks about Satan is going to change times, laws, and season. It is going to happen. And in that world, it's called the new world. And you will not find the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Remember, that it's the Holy Spirit that gives us the power. Hallelujah. That lives inside of us. You ain't going to find him in that world. So your only choice is going to be um the gillows or you hide out in the bushes mountains for the antichrist not to find you to chip you up all right or to gillow you all right so you have to make sure that your ankle holds in christ all right we have a prophetic theme song called we are near it's a song that my mama taught me when i was a little girl and the song goes like this how now you are oh now you are oh now you are oh now Yes, we are near. We can sing that song with great confidence. All right, brothers and sisters, I want to do this video because, listen, brothers and sisters, Ahaya never lies. Ahaya cannot lie. I am not the only one on here that's been warning concerning the good old source of life, water, isn't it? You know, we need water for everything. We really do. We need it for everything. But, um... Listen, brothers and sisters, the vision that I had a couple of years ago where I saw the dirty eat booze of this world making the water undrinkable. People were sick. This was in 2017. I need to find, I leave the full playlist of my water, my food shortage video in the description box. Please go through them and please watch them because all these visions are coming to pass. They, they literally are. I beg your pardon. And so the most I uh, gave me a vision where I saw the dirty edibles of this world causing the water to become undrinkable. And so I saw this thing where a lady, and listen to me, it's not far from me. I'm not even going to name the place. That's why I'm doing this video. It's literally a, a thrown stone, a, a, a stone throw away up the road from where I'm living. So I dare not mention. All right. But um, there was, there's an article over here in Babylon where this lady and her partner, she, they drank the water and they were sick. They become ill. They were violently vomiting, violently diarrhea, just sick, sick, sick. And they're not the only one. There were other people as well that were complaining of being sick. But, you know, the good old water company was, you know, brushing it aside. There's nothing wrong with the water. Everything is absolutely fine. They must, be eat, they must have eaten something. The people haven't eaten anything. And this is the problem. And the sooner they stop drinking the dirty water that's coming out of the tap, because that's what it is, um, they, they switch to bottled water. And, they were, they, you know, they start to recover and start to be okay. But they were saying, and listen... They were saying that the water, they noticed that the water had a funny smell and it tasted bad. But I suppose, you know, when you're thirsty, you need a bit of water and stuff like that. You're not paying attention. Now, I, I personally stopped drinking Babylon UK top water nearly how oh, long ago? My son is seven years old, isn't he? So I probably stopped drinking it about maybe... 
seven years ago, I stopped drinking it. Um, if no, not that's too long. That's seven, maybe five, maybe five years ago. But I think last year, sometime, I don't know what was happening. I think I ran out of bottled water and I was really, really thirsty. Like, and the kettle wasn't boiling or anything. There wasn't water in the kettle. But sometimes when you make a cup of tea, the water can cool down and you can drink it. But I didn't have any water in the kettle. And I was really, 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 really thirsty. And I thought to myself, mm, I don't got no water in the house. I'm going to just snip a little bit of bubbling water. Oh, my days. Brothers and sisters, listen, for the whole day. It, 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 how I felt, it felt like something was literally sitting in my stomach. It was that heavy. I had that little, you know, when you burp, the water was, um, what do you call it? Repeating. How okay, can water repeat in your stomach? Like, you only eat something, and if you burp, you can taste it, repeat. If it's something that, you know, fatty or like a crisp fries or something. Like that. But water, the thing was repeating in my chest the whole day. And so I know that it is wicked, you know, whatever they're doing. To, uh, the thing about it is that, hear what they're saying. And I did a video concerning this, didn't I? These people are telling, this pe these people are telling the community that the water is good. You can drink it. It's the best water in the UK. That's what they're saying. Our oh, water where we are is the best, the best in Babylon, UK, right? That's what they're saying. But yet still you have dirty Caesars coming out last year and telling us, um, yeah, people think that it's rotting in, especially the kids and many adults are not looking after their teeth. So we're going to up it with fluoride. That is what they say. You can go research it, Babylon UK, that's what they said. They said they're going to put loads of fluoride, lots of fluoride in the water. So to prevent teeth from becoming rotten. So we already know that they're putting stuff in the water that's making people sick, that you, you cannot drink it. Now, for the most part, the, 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 the bottled water, well, depending on what you buy, because listen to me, listen to me. I stopped buying it anyway. I literally stopped buying that bottle of water because I saw something and I thought to myself, that can't be true. This cannot be true. And it was a video that I saw of um, the brand Nestle. Nestle, the good old Nestle bottle water. And this woman did a video and she was saying, oh, oh, Nestle water have loads of salt in it. Like, you know, when you have got some Kirkland water there. Um, hold on one second. Let me see if I can get it up. This is my good old Kirkland water. But um, it's, a, it's, a pot, it's a sodium. All right. So watch this. So, all right. So you got the bits and pieces, the electrolytes, like a calcium, magnesium, a sodium, whatever. But the sodium, the sodium, which is a salt in the Nestle's water was crazy. Crazy. Brothers and sisters, watch this. So when the woman did the video now, right? Um... Because I'm a big fan of Nestle, I'm not going to lie, I really am, because they do Nestle's condensed milk, Nestle's uh, Milo, Jamaican thing, Milo, we love it, we love, we love Nestle, we love it. And so, you know, Nestle's, so when she did the video and she said, oh, Nestle, I think Nestle had 40%, <laughs> Jesus, 40, if I'm not lying, 40 or 20, but anyway, it was crazy, sodium, so I said to the woman, oh, you know, in my heart, when I watch a video, I just thought, mm, I don't know. Because I always drink Nestle water. And the water tastes fine. It doesn't taste salty. It does nothing at all. So I thought to myself, nah, she must be want a bit of views. Or... But anyway, I went in my kitchen, didn't I? Because mm -hmm. I had Nestle water. Went in my good old kitchen. Pick up my bottle of Nestle water. Oh, my days. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, it was crazy. Kirkland, all right, this is, I don't know, Kirkland water. They have, for the sodium, right, they have eight. I think it's, this must be eight percent or whatever, all right. Nestle sodium was 40, that's the salt. What, what, why are you putting so much salt in, in the water? I'll stop buying it, literally. 
I can do with eight percent of whatever because I understand that the water, you know, you've got to have your electrolytes and this and that and whatever you preservatives and this, you know. But but listen, brothers and sisters, listen. Me stopped by Nestle's water when I saw that it was crazy. I thought, no way. That that's 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 you know pumping us up for hypertension for high blood pressure i don't know why they put so much salt in nestle's water but anyway i know some of you are watching me right now you say sister karen you need to boil the water cool it bottle it and what of you or get this hydro pump business that cleans filter i know some of you are saying sister karen just get a filter just get a filter i will i will i'll get a filter my heart <laughs> i'll get a filter i will Oh my gosh. But anyways, brothers and sisters, listen, what I'm trying to say to you is that if you can avoid drinking the tap water, please do, because it's going to get more wicked and wickeder. Wickeder, if there's such a word. I don't trust these dirty Caesars. I'm sorry. They can, you know, they can come to me and say, oh, listen, we have the best tap water in the world. You can drink the water. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and drink. It ain't, it ain't passing me. It ain't passing me through. I don't know. It's not passing my throat, brothers and sisters. Because what's the point? You're either gonna die of thirst or you're gonna be sick with the with the with the with the water. It's not right. Something isn't right. Something is desperately wrong. Water isn't right, brothers and sisters. And I know that before these dirty hounds get dish out the water. They have to test it first, don't they? They have to test it. They have to put in the stuff in it, purify it, this and that. So when they're putting in the stuff, they, they just put in extra bits and pieces. Listen, when you think about Depop, I think sometimes us as, as watchmen and watch women on the wall or those of us who are, who are fully awake in Christ, sometimes when we think about Depop, and I have to catch myself as well because it, it catches me off guard. Sometimes when you think about Depop or depopulation, you think about, oh, there's going to be a massive, it's got to be something very big and massive that's going to happen. Yes, we know that the Bible talks about one third of humanity. It is going to be wiped out with fire and all sorts. It is in the book of Revelation. We know that. But when you think of Depop, listen, it comes in very different forms. Very, very, very different forms. Whatever form they can depop you with food, they can depop you, make your food wicked. So many diabetes and 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 hypertension and cancer and this and that, and you know and all sorts of wickedness they put in the food. So they can depop you with the food. They can also depop you with water. Doesn't matter how many people are getting are gonna die from it. <coughs> the number, <coughs> sorry, the numbers might not be mighty. But it doesn't matter to Satan as long as he's wiping off people bit by bit by bit. It is still counted. It's still adding up. So if there were 7 billion people on earth, if one person out of the 7 billion die, the numbers go down. It goes down, it goes down, it goes down. So it's a form of, I believe it's a form of deep up. I really do. I really do believe it's a form of deep up. But the devil is a liar. People have got to wake up and understand the times and the season. You've got to understand that the dirty E the booze are not our friends. Satan is not our friend. He is our arch enemy. And so therefore he hates us. He hates humanity. He has no love for humanity. So all these people jumping up and down, hailing Lucifer and you know, how much Satan loves them and how much they're going to rule and reign in hell and all these stupid things. It's crazy. Because there's no such thing as that. Like nobody would be ruling and reigning in hell. Everybody would be burning. Everybody would be remembering what they did to the most high. That's all it is. What they did to the most high. The guilt is going to just flood back in. Like they're, you, even if they lost their humanity when they were on this earth and they were doing the wicked thing and they were having a good time. When they end up in the lake of fire. All of that is going to rush back. That they're going to be so sorry. Let me tell you something. Guilt is a horrible feeling to live with. Guilt. I don't know if you've ever been guilty before. It's not nice. It's not a nice place to be. Not a nice place to be. And the guilt that they're going to have is how they're treated a higher. It's not so much a people that they've, you know, that they've hurt. 
Because you've got to hurt a higher force before you hurt the people. And what I mean by that, you've got to make the decision in your heart to do wickedly. So Ahaya sees that and then you act. So you hurt the Lord first. He's the first one that gets hurt. So when the guilt comes, that's what's going to come. It's, it's not going to be pretty. You want to make sure that you make it in those pearl white gates. Like, it is so worth it. It is so worth it. Okay, so if you come to the end of the video, you have not accepted Yesiah. As the Lord and Savior, please say this in this prayer after me. When I can find it. Dear Yesiah, the Christ, I know that you are the son of Ayah, whom the world calls God. I believe that Isaiah died on the cross for my sins. Isaiah, I thank you for that. For me, I believe in a death, burial, resurrection, and that Ahiah has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you are the son of Ahiah. Isaiah, King of glory, I come before you right now and I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I've done wrong. I repent for my wicked ways. Ahiah, I thank you for your beautiful son, Isaiah. And I pray that you will help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things that's pleasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. Hallelujah. If it's not a prayer, you believe it with your heart. Welcome to the body of Christ. We believe in Acts 2 verse 38. You have done, so or listening to something, you have done the repenting part. You now need to find a man's most time asking to fully baptize in water. When you go down in water, spiritual transformation, you're saying that Yesiah died on the cross, you believe in the atonement of sin. When the man of the most time raised you out of the water, you're raised into new life, you're a new creature, you're raised into the beauty and the power of Christ. Yesiah's resurrection, beautiful stuff. Hallelujah. So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with the higher, just like Enoch all praises. All beautiful praises to the most high, Ahaya, who lives above the heavens. Ahaya, eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon someday in glory. In Yesiah's holy name, amen, amen. I said the benediction, the benediction is Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless, before the presence of his glory, with exceeding joy, to the only wise, Yesiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.